So I just downloaded this uh, software. It's called what's it called? Winderstat. So Windows Directory Status probably. Winderstat, and I'll put a link in the description. But it's pretty cool. So what we're looking at here is when you in, you download it, it's open source, so it's free. Uh, it also means when it's open source that it's actively being worked on. People are contributing to it, and collaborating, and creating a software that is you know gonna uh, meet all requirements of whatever new operating systems new updates and things like that so uh, pretty cool software uh, once it's on your machine it opens up and you point it at a drive in this case my hard drive my uh, main hard drive my C drive was uh, getting full or is getting full and it's making it difficult to deal with uh, saving stuff and, and doing updates and things like that so um, uh, what it does is it, it runs on your machine and you point it at a drive and um, uh, now that I've pointed it at the drive what I'm seeing here is a visual representation of all the files so I've got a couple of giant page files from Windows and it colors them so that and it puts them in the same area when they're related to each other so these Windows page files are next to each other and they're pretty massive compared to the rest of the files on the machine plus they take up quite a bit of space uh, but it, well, looking around I can see that this blue stuff is uh, media cache files so this is just a bunch of uh, pictures and look like a close-up of Smurf butt crack just the one on the right so uh, this uh, blue area is a bunch of my media files so for some of the like uh, video editing software it's gonna uh, cache some video files and stuff so that's taken up a lot of this drive a lot of the space on the drive and then this green area here is the same thing. These are the editable uh, files and the, I guess, cached uh, images and videos that my old power director, CyberLink, was using. So visually, though, you can see that if this was my entire hard drive and these different colors and size shapes uh, represent the files and the colors and the grouping represents the association of those files, a whole chunk of my hard drive here are these uh, files from CyberLink and you can see as soon as I click on that CyberLink file uh, it, it highlights that whole segment it also tells me 14 gigabytes so I'm about to say 14 gigabytes I was down to like two or three gigs of free space on this drive so it's been driving me nuts right what's going on with Mr. Knives there uh, anyway uh, so that's kind of a neat piece of software. I thought I'd share it with people in case you're experiencing a situation where your hard drive is filling up and it's frustrating. In this case it had to do with the video editing software I used storing uh, bits of the videos and images that I'd used to create files and never throwing them away. So even though I've removed the software from my computer, went into add remove programs and removed it you know, officially, it left its, its data behind and that ended up being 14 gigabytes. So instead of me having to just scroll through my entire computer's hard drive right clicking and choosing properties to see the size of each folder or exploring every folder and judging the size of the files and trying to add them up uh, this quickly gave me a visual representation which let me zero in on the folder that I no longer need and I can quickly delete and I'll gain 14 gigabytes on my drive that'll give me plenty of breathing room and I can uh, go in and probably look at some of these files in blue as well, which is another big chunk of my hard drive, uh, which are uh, looks like a bunch of songs and stuff that are uh, in cache. So I think that just means that my uh, software had been using those. So uh, anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, if I want to check it out, it's free. It's uh, called WinDurStat.